What's going on? Uh, slight problem. Uh, we've got a little bit of a situation. I'm on a fish. Dylan just went over my line. Shay's trying to help me out. This is a really serious problem. I'm trying to figure that out. Right over the top. They need bifocals on, because look at that face. You talk about it? Dad, I don't know. Jesus. Snap it off. <laughs> snap it off. <laughs> no, nah, lift your teeth. Have you got a fish on, Dan? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, I had a fish on. Oh, now Charlie's joined the fray. Here we go, here we go. Dan's got a fish, Shay's got Dan, Dylan's got Shay, and then Charlie just caught a fish and came and got the lot of them. That mm, is a crispy fish skin. And it's so good. It's so good. It's actually a takeoff of a Mexican delicacy of pork tree. Chiricos, Chiritos, deep fried pork skin, but you can do the same. Mmm. So good. With fish skin. So today. I'm going to show you how to make crispy fish skin Mexican thingies. I'm going to go out wide. I'm going to go catch a deep sea fish. Now you can use trumpeter, you can use blue nose, you can use half hooker. You can actually use any fish for this. First things first, catch your fish. I just hauled up two of those two. Hopefully Chalky's got something bigger. Hey Tana. Blue neck, Jazz on the big DNA boat caught an 84 centimetre long trumpeter. There's some donkeys out here. I thought I left them at my secret sea perch spot, but it turns out we're on the bloody sea perch spot and they're on the money. Anyway, in electric reel land, we've already <laughs> been up for 10 minutes. <laughs> We're winning at life, aren't we? Oh, mate. <laughs> you know you've made it when you're fishing with an electric reel, I tell you. Uh, Chalky's on a pucker, Smitty's on a pucker, and I might be on a sea perch. Nice. Shot pro! Nice! Where'd yours go? That's just right there. Oh, is it? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the shambles to die down before I brought her on. Guess I better wind my sea perch in then. What? Oh, no. Trumpy, big two trumps. Two <laughs> trumps. <laughs> Man, <laughs> check that out. Big suckers. Can you hold a double fister up? Hold them closer to me, they don't look big. <laughs> oh, hey, here we go. Mean. Sweet bro, dong them on the head. That was a fast and furious hookup. I got a dog fish and bloody. Smitty's got a double hook up a trumpeter, and I think Brendan might be onto a good trumpeter too. Good fight, eh? Yeah, good fight, eh? Awesome. Well hooked. Yep. Check out this rooster. Hopefully you get a big pucker with that big bait, we'll see. Been saying it all morning, keep catching sea perch and sharks. You right there, Smitty? Oh, I'm great, mate. I'm glad you brought this reel for me. It's awesome, eh? <laughs> hey? See mine. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Gotta put the hard yards in, bro. You're a trainee. <laughs> trainee fisherman. Catch of the day, bro. <laughs> Thoughts? Uh, I thought it was a big blue nose, but. Someone's got to catch them. I know, mine's actually escaped. <laughs> there it is way off the back. Birds are eating it. Oh, that's dodgy. Oh. Any blue nose? Yep. We got two blue nose and one shark. 
A grey shark. Yep, bring her around the side there, boat. Nice. Come on, oh, the boat. Come on, you, you, oh, you can do it. Oh, he's too big. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh, look at the size of that. Oh, shot, bro. Look at that. Yeah. What do you got on there, Smitty? Borum. <laughs> Mother Nature. It's a peeling yeah. one. <laughs> Davies Walker. We thought Smitty had a massive one on too, and it's the bloody bottom. I got a gym fish. Oh, there he is. You got a marker on him. Go, bro. Oh no, has he got you? He's got me lined. Oh no! No! Dirty hooer! Oh, Go on, fight him up, fight I'm him! Caught, yeah. uh, you missed that action. <laughs> he come and took half my blue nose, and then Smitty hooked him by his fin. He tried to smoke Smitty's blue nose, and Smitty hooked him by his pectoral fin. And so we just brought him up to the boat, and I got the club and smacked him on the head. <laughs> Look out, Chalky, stand back, buddy. Come on, heave him in there. Big shooter. Oh, he's a bit bigger now he's in the boat, isn't he? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, mate. Nice. <laughs> These are my favourite, them little ones. Yep. I might just take that home, give the rest of it away. Yep, free fish and hoga ticket tonight. Meanwhile. Trumpeter! I reckon. Yeah, Mike's calling Trumpeter. Mike's another mate of mine. He's a local school teacher down the road. Teaches my older boy. Uh, we've lost a couple of fish and this is the first good one. And it's been putting up a hell of a fight all the way to the boat. Here she comes. She's angling away. Ah, uh, hapoka. Good hapoka. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> First poker bro. Yeah man. Shot. Cheers. Just gonna show Mike where to lift these poker because they got real rough gills and they've also got big spikes on their gill plates. So I'm gonna share with you fellas how to lift your half poker into the boat so you don't get your fingers jammed in its gills and all slice the threads. You gotta watch out for these things, these big spines on their gill plates right there. And then when you lift it, you just come under its first gills so your fingers are just under the outside gills and don't get them under that as inside ones and then you can just delicately haul them into the boat yeah mate give us a demo so yeah open your bail arm up so put it in the free spool that's it rod and rod holder haul them up and in nice sweet sweet I'll take this opportunity to give my Simrad a plug here. Without this live structure mapping, I never would have found this spot. So I was just cruising along and I saw a bit of structure on the sounder, turned back around and saw all these little bloody mountains and peaks and gullies and channels and I will have a drop on there and totally by chance I found a half hooker and a trumpeter spot. So, yes, never would have found it without the Simrad live structure mapping. Double whammy a trumpet as soon as I hit the bottom. Still 120 to go. Sounds like his battery's about to give up the ghost too. <laughs> Hopefully. Good to see him do a bit of work. <laughs> uh, it's gonna die. Oh, battery's flat. <laughs> Classic. 
<laughs> Doing it old school. Big Trumpy. Oh, nice. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Gotta be a pucker. There's a bit of weight there. Nice. I had an absolute stonker on before. Bloody must have swum into the cave because it snapped the line off. Snapped it clean off right at the end. Nice. Blue nose. Jim fish bait. Don't do it, buddy. Hey. Oh, we've got a pretty decent sized marker on here. You go forward now. That's it, go forward just move like that. That's it, click forward, that's the one. I don't know how big he is, 10, 10 foot maybe, 8 foot, 10 foot. You go bro, give us a bit more juice forward. We'll pull up beside him and see if we can get him out of the water. Well, it's shit reel for it, it's crap electric reel. Alright, left hand down. So keep going there, right. yep, yep, just like that, nice. There he is. Oh, he's a decent size, isn't he? And right hand down, hard right hand down. That's a stop there, yep, perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go forwards again. I think he's heading forward the same direction we are. Right. Cut our line, there's no way I'm going to get him on board. Well, that was Buddy. That was exciting. We got him next to the boat and then we had to put the camera down. Mike tried to tail wrap him with a rope so we could tie him and drown him because we don't have a lance or a harpoon or anything. So he got close and just a big head shake and the rope snapped and line snapped. So easy come, easy go. Gonna rig up, hopefully catch a few more blue nose and then uh, head for home in a couple of hours. Pretty slow fishing for blue nose today. Very slow. How'd that go, bro? It was, yeah, it was pretty full on. <laughs> that was a big fish. What was that? Monster. Yeah, no, that was good. That was bloody exciting. So um, I only imagine what it's like when we get a swordfish to the boat. It's going to be full noise. I better make sure I have all the gear. A yeah, shotgun with some solids and it wouldn't have come in real handy then, eh? <laughs> we could have just boom, boom, fire, pubbed a slug into his head and that would have been it. I'm going to chuck one in the boat every time, I think, from here on in, just in case. Bonus. <laughs> Catch of the day. Oh yeah, go. Oh, 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 easy. Uh oh. Oh no, that wasn't going to end well, was it? <laughs> ah. Ah, it was going to happen eventually. Bloody Molly Mox caught in his beak. We just interrupt this. Uh, video session to rescue the molly mork. Just grab his head. Well, it doesn't matter if he beats you with his wings, just as, as long as his beak doesn't get you. Just grab his head bro, that's it, nice. Can you get it out? Oh yeah, just caught. Oh, I've got his tongue. Oh, I might have to snip it off with a knife. Alright, putting the camera down. He's still flying in the other direction. We're out of here. Home, James.
Mmm. I can't stop eating them, they're so good. Alright. Once you've caught your fish, then you want to fillet your fish. Oh, scale it. Scale it first, and then fillet it, because it's a pain in the ass to try and scale fish once they're filleted. So, scale it, fillet it, take the skin off. Mmm. Once you've skinned it, you need to get all the remaining skin and fat off that skin. So just go over it again with a sharp knife. Drop it in boiling water. Dry the skin. Really important that you dry it. You can either dry it with a paper towel, or you can turn the oven on low, pop it in the oven to dry it in the oven. But you've got to dry the skin. If you want little tiny crispy bits of skin, just slice it up before you pop it in the oven to dry it. Once it's dry, heat your oil up till it's nice and hot, drop the skin in, and then watch it, it'll bubble and bubble and bubble, and as soon as that bubbling skin starts to bubble less, or the bubbling dies right down, then, or it starts to turn a kind of goldeny colour, don't overcook it, don't make it too brown, or it'll taste slightly burnt. So as soon as it starts to turn golden, and all that bubbling dies down, take it out of the pan, Whack it on a paper towel or a slice of bread or just stick it on a plate. Salt and pepper and crack into it. It is so bloody good. Mmm.